I think I have failed to convince those in authority, those in, 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 in position of, of, of power, to effect those changes about how this government should move forward. I think that, that, that is what I think I failed. I failed to convince them. Uh, I believe in the basic principles, as I told you, you know, that this country is a, a respects all rights, all people, all citizens. This country is for all. There's no room for discrimination. This country is about rule of law. This country is about a transparent process. You know, these are the things that we need to change. If you don't subscribe to these principles, or if you just pay lip service to these principles, it is difficult to translate them into a policy. So, this is my failure, I think. I'm not a demon, I'm just saying that I've made up my mind and I thank PM for giving me, uh, sort of asking me to think about it, but I have, I've thought about it and, you know, I think it's best that, uh, that we live in a dark. No, this is not giving up, this is paving the way for a transformation in, in, in a way that I hope will wake up people, will, Will, will result in some change. I, 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 that's my hope, that my, my doing so will trigger this sort of positive. I think you have to ask the... I think all this you have to ask after December. I don't know. <laughs> you have to ask the Prime Minister. Maybe uh, the Prime Minister will... will reorganize the cabinet, maybe the Supreme Council at that time will have different people, maybe they'll be more supportive. It depends on so many things, so I cannot answer that question. He's a nice man. But, it's no but is it real to initiate um, reforms? Like well, he has things to deal with, he has other things to deal with that I may not know of. You know? he has to deal with. You remember he's the president of the party and you know, he has to... I'm, I'm, I'm just an ordinary guy. I don't have to worry about too many things. You know, but he may have other things to worry about. You have to ask him that. I think, he, I think if I, uh, the Prime Minister uh, within the constraints that he's got, I think has... Uh, yeah, he was supported, yes. Yeah. But he's got severe constraints. That's how I sense it. I believe so. That's why I, I feel that things would be maybe better for the government, for the Barisan, or for Babno too, after, after, you know, all this. Well, uh, it's a very difficult question because uh, Dalam Satu Hal, uh, AMNO hasn't treated me so well, as you know, you know, over the years. I got suspended for things that I didn't do, and then my own pencalonan in Kota Baru, as you know, has got into trouble, tak <laughs> sah semua. And uh, there are a lot of people who criticize me. Remember this reform that I talk about? Banyak yang mengkritik actually from UMNO. So, kadang-kadang saya merasakan I should change like them, or instead of me trying to change them. You know what I mean? Like, you know. <laughs> so, I do have some problems there, but at the same time, I also don't know PKR well. I mean, I don't know the leaders. I don't know. I never. So, it's too early to say, but I have an open mind. You know, I'm, you know, and I'm not in a hurry to make any decision. Courted. The last time I was courted was about 30 years ago. <laughs> uh, no, no, not courted. But I have friends all over the place who calls out, you know, things like that, you know. And um, but these are things that uh, happens to everybody, you know. Yeah. 
No. I have not made any decision on, on joining anybody or even... Uh, uh, I'm just saying that I have to do this because I hope it will trigger some good things, it will trigger some change on the part of people in power, it will trigger some self-reflection on their part, and, and I hope the Prime Minister will overcome his challenges without my, the burden that I carry. I don't think so. I, I plan to have, I want to start a foundation to help build closer relations amongst the people of this country. I think race discrimination, race prejudice, race issues, race relations, I think it's very bad. And I see, unlike me when I was young, you know, I thought we had a much closer interracial, you know. Today we are very divided as a country. And I want to do something towards that. But other than that, I haven't really given much thought. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to stay as senator because it would be nice to talk sometimes, you know, in the Senate, you know, give my views on public issues. You see, I love this country very much like you all. I care about this country. And I will do what I can to... to I believe this country is, was founded on very simple principles, but very strong principles. Fairness to all, justice, freedom, you know, all those good things that we want in a society. I will work towards that, and I will, I'm not about to disappear, if that's what you mean. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I have, I know I'm not young, but I still got some years to give this country, to the, the formulation of policies in this country. But I just have to play a different role, perhaps.